that sound because it's the sound of sports cab coming back to youtube making videos i just want to say a quick hola buenos dias bonjour ciao to everyone out there who's stuck around sports cab is back on the radar now i know i haven't been that active recently but times are changing and Sydney FC, fresh off an amazing FFA Cup victory triumph against the Brisbane Raw, signals the fact that I should get back out there. But enough talk, there's a new season that awaits us right around the corner. We're going to be at Allianz Stadium and it kicks off with the Sydney FC against Melbourne victory traditional rivalry, the Big Blue. I'm so keen to see my boys back in action. So don't you dare go anywhere this season because we have some monstrous content in store for you guys. But first, there's a little season opener that awaits us. Wrong event. Who would dare schedule a rave or whatever the hell this is during the Big Blue? As if you're not watching the Big Blue. Poor decisions, guys. Very poor decisions. Oh, look what I found. Oh yeah, what a surprise. the sound I remember. Come on. Come on Sydney! I better find my seat. I think I'm gonna go up where I used to do it, all the way at the top, all the way, very top. Now it's a very different look to when I last saw these guys play. Obviously Alfie's gone. We've got a good new striker in Fabio. I reckon Sydney FC is going to win my score prediction. 1-0 Fabio, 88th minute winner. I'm so glad to be back. Sydney! Come on, you boys and blow! Sky blue! Gosh, goodness. Oh, what a switch, what a switch, go! Go on, Lowell's. Oh, get out of the way, lads. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Oh, he's, he's done enough, but poor defence. Oh, how the hell do we let him still have an opportunity? Big Joseph. Oh, 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 that could have gone anywhere. Melbourne a bit lucky to escape with that one still level. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Unlucky, Joseph. Your time will come. Is there a stalking the midfield options? And the West Easter. Is there a still going? Oh, don't tell me. Oh! Fabs. Fabio. Oh, oh dear, that's a yellow. That's gonna be a yellow. Free kick in a dangerous spot. To be honest, neither can I. I was just waiting for that net to bulge and thankfully it never did. Way too close for comfort right now at the end of the first half. Go Maxi, have a dig. Oh, good effort Maxi. going on right now. I like it. I actually can get around it. Half time in the season opener and it is it's cagey 
but open is how I would describe it. We created a few good chances, especially towards the end there, but at the same time, we're very, very lucky not to be at least one goal down. Seems like some of our defensive issues, which were costing us early last season, are resurfacing without the surety of Wilco and Co. Even Stevens, anyone's game, second half. Looking forward to it. Come on, Sydney. Want to knee. Tell you what, we are low-key getting away with some opportunities here. This is not good enough from our defense. He did so well in that lead-up, which you didn't see. Go on, Robbie. filmed their previous attack, Redders had cleaned it up, and then I went to delete the footage because it was nothing. And then I look up and it's 1-0. Oh no, it was, oh no, was that good? Oh shit. It had to be Bruno Fauna rolling far out. It could not have fallen to a worse player in that position both in terms of like the ability to finish from there and also because just the player like we don't it just why is it four in a roll what so was i saying the defense 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 and it's been less than lackluster so we're gonna have to make up for it with our attack now 27 minutes to go come on brat hey yes I already feel 10 times less optimistic that we're going to equalise when we whip out the old Oh, Sydney score a goal! You know it's bad when we whip that chant out Oh, what a spin Oh, the spinach from Antonio Caceres Slide him in, have a dig, have a shoot! Whoa, Sydney score a goal Surely, surely. Yeah, you gotta book him too. Now this is Bratton territory. Oh. Oh. oh, he doesn't have the legs. Brad's cooked. Oh, jeez, and we nearly were too. I've just allowed a really clean counter in. No defensive pressure at all. For anyone who remembers my Christmas crapper uh, video where we played against MacArthur Bulls in that absolute of a match, um, it's exactly the same defending from them. Oh, it's too easy. It's just too easy. Witches hats. Absolute witches hats. Literally not even 30 seconds later. Vindicating, backing up my point. It's absolutely shit ass defending. Excuse my French. My grandma could have done a better job if she just strolled onto the pitch and touched one of them with a walking cane. Yeah. 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 Good on you, Joseph. You played well. You played really well. Get around, boys. We'll get him next week. Well, and just like that, our next home game is in more than a month's time because we have three away games before then. And we've got Brisbane next week. I don't even know how we're going to do it. I don't even know. If we play like that, we're going to get destroyed.
And then we have Adelaide, who just destroyed the Mariners. Oh, God, I don't want to think about it right now. Just want to get out of here. Ah, uh, hijo de puta. Bloody Melbourne. Hate losing to them. Just hate. I cannot stand losing to them. Time to enjoy a very sobering drink. How about this gorgeous little? You know what? This is actually a very nice precinct. I could get around this more often. Anyways, that is a highly disappointing way to start the season. You know, I just I just look at that defensive performance in itself, and I think, how on earth did we win the FFA Cup or the Australia Cup? Really don't know how we won it. We're gonna have to fix our defense, because otherwise it's just gonna be like it was last season, at the start of last season, like the first six to 10 games, where we just, we played really well in attack most of the time, uh, but we just had no defense at all, and that just cost us so many games. I do not want it to start like that. We already started with a loss, just like we did last season against Victory. Let's just let's not turn that into two or three or four or five. Like by the time I do my next vlog, which will probably be in a few weeks' time, I may or may not get to the Adelaide vlog. I don't want us to be on the bottom of the table. Well, that was insanely disappointing, wasn't it? We were cagey in the first half, but glimpses of what were to come in the second half defensively were showing themselves. And I was saying this in the first half, and we were lucky that we weren't even one nil down, and there were cracks in our defense, and they just became absolute crevices in the second half. And Melbourne Victory just capitalized on our non existent defense. You know, I made a whole tirade and rampage about this in the Christmas Crapper video last season, especially when our defense was just absolutely abysmal. And I'm starting to see it again. You know what? Maybe the hype was for nothing. Maybe I should have just taken another hiatus. Maybe I shouldn't have returned to watching matches and doing vlogs because it seems like they don't show up when I show up. So maybe I should just go on another long hiatus and not vlog matches because apparently we win trophies when I'm not there. Anyway, what can I say? We'll be at another match very soon. Thanks guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. And thanks for sticking with us. Here's to bigger and better things. I've been your boy Sports Coop. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Force of Sydney FC. Like I said many times last season, we'll get him next game.